Hi guys, and welcome to Practice with Petronella. I'm Petronella Turin, uh, a Swedish cellist, and we are going to practice together today. And today we are going to practice our with our best friend. So, I mean, our best friend is the cello, Mr. Cello here. But except for Mr. Cello, there is another friend that we have that is our best friend. The You know, this kind of friend who keeps us steady. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. It's the metronome. The metronome. I've been mentioning the metronome in my scale videos a little bit. And yeah, now it's time to really get to know this device, the metronome. So what is the metronome? It is a device that is like a heart, pumping heart. But it's a machine, so it just goes. It's, I don't know, a very advanced pacemaker. It's the heart of the music. That just goes there and it keeps the pulse and it's it's kind of like a conductor you know in the orchestra you have a big you have a big you have a person who is uh, standing like this he's the conductor or he's doing all kinds of things we never know he's the metronome of the orchestra but if you play without uh 50 people in an orchestra or without a conductor a metronome is really good to practice with to get that kind of sense of a common pulse a common heartbeat so if I am, for example, is going to play with my um, opera singer that I play with, Igita, then I practice with the metronome first, So, and we agree on the tempo, of course, between me and her, what tempo is good, and then I practice with that. So when I practice alone, it's like she's there as well. We have a common, you know, a common agreement of how fast we're going to play the piece. Because it, it can vary a lot, and if you practice in one tempo, and then you play... In another tempo on the concert, you kind of get a little bit shaky. So it's best to keep it steady. And it's also great to, if you want to play very fast, then the metronome is really good because you can start very slow and then you just higher the numbers and then you can actually see that you go faster and faster. And it's really good because sometimes we think that we are following the pulse. We are like, yeah, I'm, I'm following the pulse. And then when you put on the metronome, you realize that, oh, actually, I was playing my own thing here, just, you know, freestyling a little bit, which happens a lot for me. So metronome is very essential and you can have an, uh, an device next to you or you can have an app in your phone. I prefer to have an app in my phone because I always lose the device. I don't know where it is actually. I have one, but I don't know where it is. Uh, but my phone, I know where it is because you can call your phone. So if you lose it, you can find it again. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, well, um, yeah, so the metronome, I would say, is the first first friend you play with. So if you want to play with other people and you're playing cello and learning to play cello, you should start with the metronome. And I know that a lot of my students, they are not so fond of the metronome in the beginning because it's like, oh, it's the steps we when I am playing. And yes, in the beginning or, you know, all your life, it comes and uh, interfere with you because... It's the truth. It's the heart. So you, it takes some time for you to adjust to the tempo that the metronome is giving you. But give it a chance because it will give you so much benefits. So this is this kind of friend that maybe you don't like them in the beginning, but in the long run, they turn out to be your best friend. Okay? Enough with the convincing. Uh, I'm going to put on my metronome uh, on my phone. So the metronome has different tempos. And sometimes it says what kind of tempo it is and sometimes in your scores it also says uh, then it has like one note and then equals what kind of uh, beat in the metronome so you can check that out if you are playing something in with scores mm, yeah so let's see we can start with i'm gonna start with 50 50 beats yeah it sounds like this Hope that you can hear it. Yeah, so this is a metronome, how it sounds, or how my metronome sounds, okay? So, how do I play with it? It's a bit stressing, you're like, oh, oh, oh. But what I like to do is first, uh, of course, I start with the head. So like, dum, 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 dum. Okay, now I know. Now I can feel it in my body. I also use my foot here. So I put it down like stamping in the floor. 
So, bum, bum. I used to have the feeling of the tempo in my body, actually, somehow. If you don't want to use your feet, you can use another body part. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just feel the tempo a little bit. And then I play. I'm going to play something called fourth note. And fourth notes are on the beat. If we are in 4-4. Four, four, and this is a fourth note. One, two, three, four. And... Okay, so now you come with me and you do with me. Super simple things, but it's nice to just, you know, do a really good groundwork, you know? We don't, we don't want to be sloppy, okay? Three and four and... Fourth notes. So this is just a nice tempo. Fifty. Largo. If you are Italian, they say largo for this. Nice. Fourth note, the basic. And then we have something that is half of the fourth note is the eighth note, mathematic, and a fourth note, so it goes two fourth notes, no, it goes two eighth notes on one fourth note, so on one beat from the metronome, you play two notes, okay? So, pop, 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 that's how it sounds, okay? Pop, pop, pop. Up. Okay, now we know it. You've been saying it with me. Now we play it. Three, Ella, you can listen first. Listen first is always best. Three and four and. Now you come with me. Three, four and. This is eight notes. Doesn't matter if you don't get the best sound or the best beautiful sound. Now we are practicing to play with the metronome. So if it doesn't sound beautiful or anything, doesn't matter. Okay? It's not important. Because we cannot focus on everything all the time. So we, now we are focusing to play with our friend, the metronome. Okay? So let that be your focus. So we did fourth note. Fourth notes are on the beat. Bum. Bum. This is a fourth note. Bum. Thumb. Then we did eight notes, two eight notes on one fourth note. Fourth note is the beat. So la pa pa pa. That's eight notes. So what is the half of eight? Well, in music, is a sixteen notes. So in time wise, is it that that that? And then it goes four sixteen notes on one fourth note. Okay, now it's complicated math here. So. On the beat, four notes on each beat. So, da 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 da. Okay, say with me. Okay, da 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 da. So it's a little bit of coordination skills. If you want to practice this really good, you should have the this uh, metronome, the beat, I have it in my foot now, you cannot see my foot, but I have it in my foot and I have it in my hand here. And then with my mouth, I say the different notes. We start with fourth note. Bum, 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 bum. And eight notes. Da, 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 da. And sixteen notes. And Okay, let's try the 16 notes. One, two, three, four, and... So this is 
is a bit more tricky, the 60 notes. And you were thinking, oh, it goes super fast, maybe. And you didn't have time to catch up with the notes. I have a trick. So when we play fast, we play with very little bow. So like, di -di 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 -di, move very little, very little. And then you will be able to play super fast, really fast. Okay? So let's do it again. Now with the knowledge of being very, very small movements. Okay? One, two, three, four, and... <laughs> Now, I'm going to make a quiz. So I'm going to play either a 4th note, either a 8th note or a 16th note. 4th note is the one that is on the beat with the metronome. 8th note is 2 on every beat on the, from the metronome. And 16th note is 4 on every beat. So I'm going to play something, you don't know what it's going to be. And then... I'm gonna do three example, three three examples, and then you have to guess, and you can comment below in the YouTube uh, comment uh, area. You write which one is which, okay? So now it's the quiz, quiz time, okay? And one, two, three, four, and. <laughs> Was question one what note was that now come now come the second one one two three four and cool cool and the third one one Two, three, four, and... Cool. Maybe you think, oh, it's too easy this. But it's not too easy. And this is actually quite complicated stuff. But if you know them and you know it good, of course it's easy. If you learn it, it's easy. Everything is easy when you learn it. So don't uh, patronize what you learn because it's uh, actually an, a big achievement, everything. And success feeds success. So really good. Practice this with your metronome. Do this exercise sometimes just to get friends with it. And then when you play a piece or something and you put on the metronome, it will be your friend and not your enemy, okay? So... Have a really good Silissimo day. I'm going to turn off the metronome. If you want to find the metronome um, on, for an app on your phone, just write a, tu a tuner metronome in the... Yeah, where you find apps. And you will find a lot of them. And there is so many. You can just yeah choose one that you like that has a sound that is not too annoying. And also something that goes through, because sometimes when you play, it's hard to hear, actually, the metronome. So if you have a really good speaker, that's really good. Okay, and uh, if you want to buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. Uh, it's like a little donation thing, costs 3 euros, and that will give me energy to do more videos. Okay, so that would be really awesome. And thank you so much, you guys who already bought me a coffee. It's so nice, from the bottom of my heart. Deep, deep thank you. Uh, so, I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe because otherwise you will miss, the, maybe you will miss the next video. And that would be a pity because, yeah, I'm really enjoying practicing with you guys. So, let's keep on playing shallow, okay? Because now we are really getting into the deep and, yeah, very useful stuff, okay? Everything is useful, of course. I hope you have a fantastic day and see you soon. Okay, bye.